China is vigorously developing its air defense systems, filling on ranges to form a multi-layer air defense network. Launched at the 2021 Zhuhai Air Show, the FK-2000 is described as China's top-level self-propelled anti-aircraft system. FK-2000 was developed by China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. It is classified as a short-range surface-to-air missile system, appears to have been derived from Russia's Panzer family. It is capable of engaging aircraft at ranges from 1.2 to 25 km and at altitudes ranging from 15 to 12 km and is also capable of engaging precision guided munition targets such as air to surface weapons or cruise missiles at ranges from 1.2 to 10 km and at altitudes from 15 to 8 km according to the PLA Daily newspaper. The self-propelled unit has orbit a launcher, a radar station, and an unmanned tower with a short radar. It is also possible to install an optical electronic infrared sight on the top of the tower to provide a backup means for fire control. To destroy targets, the Vigor is equipped with 12 large containers and two cannons, which, similar to the Russian Panzer S, they can fire independently of each other. Note that the Russian Panzer S is capable of hitting targets at a distance of up to 20 km at an altitude of up to 15 km. The vehicle uses improved localized Chinese systems that are similar to the Russian Panzer S anti-air system, where instead of using the 30mm 2A38M cannons, it uses a Chinese copy of the AK-630 that is believed to be the HPJ-13 30mm cannons. The ammo tap used is optionally the same as the AK-630 and other rounds identical to systems such as the Russian Kastion closing weapon system. However, according to some sources on the internet, China also developed both APDS and APFSDS rounds to the HPJ-13 cannons. The navigation system includes both a search radar on the top rear and a fire control radar at the bottom front. However, an optoelectronic infrared sight can be mounted on top of the turret to provide a backup means for conducting fire control if needed. Currently, China has yet to put the vehicle into mass production. Though after the reveal of the vehicle, the Chinese military has shown great interest in the design, which has shown great results during testing. 